everyone welcome back to my channel where on a weekly basis we explore the very exciting world of ai cloud security cyber security and in today's video i'm going to talk about very something very very important guys which is how to learn ai security from scratch you know now supposing you are a cyber security professional and you want to learn about ai security but you don't know where to start right so this is becoming a very crucial skill set very very important as ai is becoming more and more important ai machine learning it's becoming more and more integrated into our daily lives, right? So I'm going to walk over five very important steps that will help you gain a very, very good understanding of AI security. So are you ready? Let's get started, guys. And one thing very, very important, please, when I talk about AI security, I'm not talking about ChatGPT. Uh, I love ChatGPT. It's a very great tool. Uh, but I'm talking about learning AI security. When I say, unfortunately, what I've seen is when I say learn AI security, 90% of the time people think I'm talking about using chat GPT for running some like a uh, prompts on AI security, like security, right? How to do pen testing or how to do something on chat GPT. Forget about chat GPT. Chat GPT is amazing. But the other AI applications, the vast majority of machine learning and AI, they do not run on chat GPT. So I'm talking about how to learn about AI security here, guys. It's very, very important. And this is a topic which is going to become more and more important. More and more jobs are going to come out as it becomes uh, ai adoption increases i've already seen a few jobs on linkedin pertaining to ai security I, I live in the uk but definitely these same titles are going to start popping up everywhere so okay so i'm going to talk about five steps five steps how you should learn ai security and how you can get like a much better understanding of this okay and make sure to hit that subscribe button guys please turn on notifications to stay up to date and that will really help the channel also it'll help the channel to grow okay so step one what is the first step which is learn about machine learning you need to understand machine learning before you like uh, what do you call start ai security guys 90 percent of the time i've seen that people just say machine learning without even knowing what it is okay why because why the first step uh, in learning ai security is understanding the fundamentals of machine learning why is that because machine learning is the engine that drives ai it is not the only form of subset of ai but it is the most important guys because that is what enables AI systems to make decisions, to learn from data and make decisions or predictions, okay? So the difference between machine learning and a normal program. So this is how a normal program works, right? You put some input in, it has an algorithm, it works, and it gives you an output. That is how a normal program works. That is how it has always worked for like decades almost now, right? Uh, but with machine learning, it's slightly different. You give it the, so what in machine learning, you give it the input and the output to an algorithm it does some data on it and it creates a model and this model is what is used to create predictions so as an example you would feed it like uh, if it was like a image recognition software right uh, used for recognizing the faces of cats and dogs you would as an input you would feed it all the pictures of the cats and the dogs and the output you would label it you would tell them these are the cats and these are the dogs and based on that it would create a model and this model would be used to predict in the future, if it saw a picture of a cat or a dog, it would recognize it. Why? Because it has learned on that data. So this is how it differs from normal programs. You need to know how machine learning works. And I, you don't need to like go down into the nitty gritties. I'm not saying you need to learn statistics or do a PhD in data modeling. But the topics you need to know are supervised, unsupervised learning, neural networks, reinforcement learning, feature engineering, very important, and model evaluation and validation, how these things happen. Where do you learn this? I mean, there are like millions of online courses, tutorials, textbooks available to help you get started. And honestly, if you want my honest opinion, YouTube has amazing amounts of videos for machine learning. You can easily get a completely free course available on many, many channels, which will teach you everything you need to know about machine learning, okay? Be sure to practice your skills with hands-on projects and real-world data sets. That will really help you out. I would recommend doing that because that will give you the very best understanding, okay? The next step is what? Learning about biases in AI algorithms. What is What are biases? Well, uh, biases are something which leads to unfair, unfair uh, decisions by AI systems, okay? And that can become a serious problem as AI starts getting used in more and more important stuff, right? Like law enforcement or medical systems. Now, making the wrong decisions can become a serious issue. If you want to become an expert in AI security, you need to know how to identify and mitigate these biases okay so like take an example of this picture what do you think is wrong with this picture i want you to take a look at the guy on the left right the ai system is saying this guy is low risk 
it, it, it gave him a rating of three. This was a system being used in law enforcement, right? And if you go up, look at the guy, what the guy has done before. What are the things he's done? What are the crimes he's committed? Look at the guy on the right, right? He, he has a high risk score of 10, right? And But look at what he's done. I mean, he hasn't done any serious crimes, but he got a high risk of 10. Why? Because the AI system was biased against uh, African-American people, right? And it was like biased in the favor of white people. So that just to give you an example, and these scores were being used to put people in jail, give them fines and all that. You can imagine just how dangerous this can be, right? These are, these are the things which will not be there in normal applications, but machine learning will have these sort of things, okay? And what do you need to learn? Well, types of biases, it can be a sampling bias, measurement bias, algorithmic bias. What are the ethical implications of biased AI systems? Like I told you about, what are the real world implications that can happen? And how do you mitigate it, right? There are many ways of doing it. Basically the data, which is being fed into the machine learning, you can resample it, reweigh it, uh, uh, adversarial training, you can train it on these sort of samples, okay? So these are the foundational things you need to know. Very, very important if you want to learn about AI security. Okay, so this is the foundation. Now step three, the step, third step is to learn about AI specific attacks. Like as AI systems become more and more popular, they can become targets for malicious actors. And you need to, to protect this, you need to understand the various attacks and their implications, okay? Just like application security was very popular, right? Then suddenly you had uh, like, sorry, applications were very popular. Then suddenly you had things like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, all these things coming up, which nobody knew about, right? Same thing. AI systems have many, many attacks, model evasion, uh, model poisoning, data extraction, inference attacks. All these attacks are there throughout the model. Like right from the when the model is selected, an AI model, it's trained upon data, it's tested, validated, put into production. At each phase of the AI lifecycle, there are separate attacks which can happen. You need to know how these attacks work, how they happen. I'll give you some like references, like a way to take a look at that. But these are the things you should know about adversarial samples, data poisoning, model inversion, membership inference attacks. If you if this is all French to you, so you're scratching your head and thinking, well, what the heck is this? I've never heard of these things. No worries. I'll give you some like uh, reference to my course, my book also at the end, and you can read about this stuff in detail, okay? But these are the attacks you need to know. Okay, what is the next step? Step four is you need to learn about AI governance and risk management. Now, why is that? Why? Because AI security risks, uh, they do not exist in a vacuum, right? You need a proper like, governance framework because you need to have something like an AI policy, an AI committee, which sets the whole risk management framework, AI trust principles, because uh, you can't just be implementing security controls, right? You need to have a proper framework and AI frameworks are different because you need to think about things like fairness, transparency, these sort of things, right? So it's very important to know what are the foundational things. There are many, many model governance frameworks present in the market. You can take any of them. I think Singapore has a very awesome one. You can take that and learn that, okay? But the things you need to know are AI governance frameworks and best practices. What are the AI risk assessment methodologies? Compliance with laws. The European Union has a new law coming out, which is similar to the GDPR, but specifically on AI security. You have a new ISO standard coming out, right? And the incident responses and recovery plans for AI systems. So these are the things you need to know. Okay. And now, now we need to learn about AI security control. So the, that's the reason I wanted to show you the foundational things you need to have before you jump. What people do is they jump directly into the AI security controls without understanding what is machine learning, what is supervised and supervised learning, okay? What is uh, AI biases? What are the transparency laws? What are the governance frameworks? And they jump directly into the security and they get confused because they cannot understand. So the final step should be learning AI security controls. These are the protective measures that will help to get, safeguard AI systems from potential threats, okay? And you can have like, if you think about it from a red team, blue team, you can uh, add, uh, attacks like inference, model invasion, model poisoning. You, you can actually have uh, the blue team checking against these attacks like output verification, adversarial samples. These are the separate types of attacks which are there. Again, if you don't know them, don't worry. There are many frameworks. There's an Atlas framework, which, which the, uh, uses like the attack framework for incident response. This is specifically made for AI systems, okay? All the attacks which are there, it's freely available on the internet. You can just go download it and go through it. So these sort of frameworks you need to know. But when you talk, think about the topics which you need to learn here now, these are like data protection, the standard controls which are there, the underlying infrastructure that has to be secured. But then you need to know about model training, model deployment, uh, robustness trade testing, monitoring and auditing of AI systems. What are the specific security controls for AI? which you need to put. 
So these are the things I wanted to talk about, guys. Now, if you were thinking, okay, man, this is all, I, I, can't, I don't know where to start. Well, if you want to know, sorry, I need to do some self-promotion here. I have my own book here also. I wrote a complete book on this on AI governance and cyber security. It's, I think it'll be linked in the description. You can check it out. And if you don't like reading books, you find them boring. I have a Udemy course on this, guys, also, because I feel very, very strongly about this topic. This is a very, very important topic. This is very important for your career also, because these things are going to become more and more important as time goes on. So the sooner you start learning about these things, whether you read the book or you don't take my book or my course, just learn about it somewhere else. But it's very important to learn. And the sooner you start, the sooner advantage you'll have. OK, so that's it. Follow these five steps to become start becoming an expert in AI security. Remember, learning is a continuous process. You need to stay up to date with all the latest developments in AI security. And if you found this video useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech related AI related cloud security content. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.